The 32-year-old, who was Munchausen by proxy, was freed in December 2023 from a federal prison in Missouri after serving seven and a half years of a 10-year sentence for the second-degree murder of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. After serving five months in prison, she is scheduled to make her television debut in the upcoming Crime Plus investigation series, Gypsy Rose Life, after lockup, which will chronicle her life after release. Blanchard acknowledges that she didn't anticipate the tale to garner the amount of attention it has, which has made the time after her release challenging and overwhelming at times. She claims, it's been hard, in an interview with Closer Magazine. I guess you could say I expect it to fully fade into the background. According to court documents, Blanchard planned to kill her mother in an attempt to free her from an abusive relationship with her then-boyfriend, Nicholas Gojon. Growing up in Louisiana, Blanchard's mother made her pretend to have many ailments, such as muscular dystrophy and leukemia, when she was a little girl. Dee Dee not only fabricated documents to misrepresent Gypsy Rose's age and medical background, but she also had her daughter's head shaved, changed how she looked, controlled the amount of prescription drugs she took, and agreed to unneeded procedures. Even though Gypsy Rose didn't require a wheelchair or an oxygen tank, she was forced to use one. Munchausen syndrome, my proxy, and undetected factitious disorder where persons manufacture illnesses or injuries or actually cause them to others to obtain attention, sympathy, or other benefits, is what DD suffered from. DD would take gifts from the community and disability payments in her instance since she had made up ailments for her daughter. Because of his friendship with Blanchard, Godicho was informed of everything and on June 9, 2015, while Blanchard was hidden in the toilet, he stabbed Dee Dee 17 times as she was sleeping in the family's Springfield home. On July 5, 2016, Blanchard entered a guilty plea to the second-degree murder of Dee Dee after accepting a plea deal. She received a 10-year prison sentence. Gona Joan is incarcerated at the Potosi Correctional Center in Missouri for life without the possibility of release after being charged with first-degree murder. He declared to the court during his sentencing, I was blindly in love. That was definitely the case at all times. Blanchard claims that her incarceration made her more resilient and assisted her in healing, which may come as a surprise. She went on to say that it also provided her with the information she required to better herself and get ready for the freedom she currently enjoys. Coming out of prison, I felt like I had the building blocks already there and so it was about putting them into action and getting to see the final project of life, she says. Hey, I've been building myself up and my self-esteem. Now let's get my hair done. Let's get my nose done and let's get my nails done. Now that I have freedom to do it. Gypsy Rose continues expressing her interest in pursuing a profession in hairdressing. But for now, she's savoring every second spent with her family, including teaching her dad how to play the guitar and learning how to cook with her stepmother. I'm content. I'm thrilled, albeit it took some time to get there, she continues. 